to get R to refract the horizon to a non-geometric position. It's a paradox. Well, two lines of sight. One... No, we've only got one line of sight. Is that to the two horizons? <laughs> I can't respond, can I? Sorry, we've got two respond, lines of sight, have we, clown show? You're frightened of what I'm going to say, aren't you? Well, you just said it. You said we've got two lines of sight. I just want to let you know this... there's been an update. According to Professor Bell, uh, Bell End, every horizon we see is geometric. <laughs> And every time you see the horizon, you're actually seeing the geometric horizon. We are not going to see the geometric horizon. No one's claiming that we see physical geometry. It's not a visual horizon. And every time you see the horizon, you're actually seeing the geometric horizon. Dead already? Is that why we're being told we don't see Earth curve? Because that's what the geometric horizon is. Is that why we're having people having to fundy mute me asking when we see Earth curve? the line of sight to the tangent point physical earth curve edge. Well, that's the assertion in their geometry of earth curve. And I ask Grumpus, when do we see this in reality? And because of the framework of the question and where it's being set here, he's got a Rumpus the answer. You'd think he'd just say we see earth curve all the time. Just for people's information, on screen now, donkey dick geometry from Andrew Thomas Young. And the line between point zero... O and point G is the dotted line tangent point horizon formerly known as earth curve it's the line of sight to that which we cannot see and in his description he makes it explicitly clear up until now we've drawn a line of sight to the geometric horizon well they must because they're doing geometry to get their bent line that isn't geometric it's not going to give you an R value it's an assertion that's been utilising a point you can't see anymore thanks to this bad boy, the Black Swan. Alive and kicking and killing the globe.